Hello, I'm Kimberly, and welcome to the weekend edition of the Nave News Update. It's Friday, November 15th. Many of the stories you hear here can be found at IndianCountryNews.com. And here's the news for the day from the Associated Press and other Native news sources. Attorney General Eric Holder announced the first public hearing of a new task force to examine the impact of exposure to violence on American Indian and Alaska Native children. This task force is anchored by both a federal working group that includes U.S. attorneys and officials from the Department of the Interior and Justice and an advisory committee of experts appointed to examine the scope and impact of violence facing American Indian and Alaska Native children and make policy recommendations to Attorney General Holder on ways to address it. The advisory committee will convene four public hearings across the country beginning in Bismarck, North Dakota, December 9th focusing on violence in children's homes, schools, and communities in Indian Country. The other hearings will be held in Phoenix, Arizona, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and Anchorage, Alaska early in 2014. The advisory committee will be co-chaired by former U.S. Senator Byron Dorgan and Iroquois composer and singer Joanne Shenandoah. They will be aided by tribal members and national experts on American Indian studies, child health and trauma, and child welfare and law. For more information, you can check out justice.gov forward slash defending childhood. The Indian Health Service and the Notabegay the Third Foundation are collaborating on activities aimed at preventing childhood obesity in American Indian and Alaska Native youth. The partnership will include sharing best practices and Im implementation of community-based activities directed at addressing childhood obesity in Indian Country. The collaboration initiated November 12th was developed in support of the Let's Move in Indian Country program, which is part of First Lady Michelle Obama's Let's Move initiative. Obesity is a significant problem in Native communities. It is a risk factor for many chronic diseases such as diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and cancer, which are among the leading causes of death of American Indians and Alaska Natives. For more information, you can check out nb3foundation.org. Comcast will celebrate Native American Heritage Month this November by offering a collection of free movies, TV specials, and music to digital Xfinity TV customers on television, online, and on mobile devices. Plus, for the first time, the company will provide millions of video customers with exclusive access to the latest independent film festival content from LA Skins Fest and Red Nation Film Festival and Awards Show. The offerings also include Native American movies and TV specials from HBO and NBC. All programming will be available on Xfinity On Demand, and select content will also be on Xfinity.com forward slash TV and Xfinity TV Go. Comcast has a long-standing commitment to diversity since its founding 50 years ago and focuses its efforts in five key areas. Diversity in governance, attracting and retaining a multicultural workforce, developing a diverse supplier base, offering a wide selection of multicultural programming, and community investment in national, regional, and local diverse organizations. Curious about New Mexico tribes? Now there's an app to help you learn more about the state's diverse American Indian culture. The free iPad application created by the New Mexico State University offers interesting facts in a fun format about the state's 22 pueblos, tribes, and nations. The idea came from a board game created three years ago that has been used as an educational tool in classrooms. Michael Ray, who created the board game How Well You Know New Mexico that inspired the app, said he originally created the game as an educational tool for students. Now with the launch of the application on Apple's App Store in September, both native and non-native users can learn about the state's diverse culture. The iPad app allows the users to correctly place one of the 22 Pueblos, tribes, and nations on a map of New Mexico. If the name of the tribe is placed correctly, historical information will be displayed. The app was developed by the university's Learning Games Lab, which has created early education applications for the iPad in the past and was funded by the university's American Indian program. Four college basketball teams with ties to the Native American community will wear turquoise jerseys this month to honor Native American Heritage Month. Florida State, Nevada, Oregon State, and New Mexico will don the special Nike jerseys during selected games. In 2012, Oregon State became the first university to honor Native American Heritage Month with the turquoise jerseys. Other schools have since joined the campaign to raise awareness of the benefits of exercise and athletics for Native American youth. 
And that's another roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Native News Update. I'd like to thank you for joining me and have a grand day.